Hi folks, it's the Richard Sandy Show here again, and today's DYK is all about hidden pattern print, which is a copy security feature that is found on the Sharp MX2610 through to the Sharp MX5111. How does it work? Well, what you do is you, under the copy tab, you go to the others key, you hit others, then you go to the hidden pattern print key, we hit that particular key, we take our original, our highly confidential original, and we place it into the document feeder as we would any other original. We um, change the hidden pattern print from off, in this case, to on, okay? And now we want to choose how we want things to be printed onto it. So what, uh, what do we want the print color to be? The default is black. The exposure, standard or dark, we're going to choose uh, dark, okay? Uh, the font size, the angle of the font, the font style, and the camouflage pattern. Okay, So those are the things that you can select. Once you've selected those, you go into the print contents setting, and you can preset the word that you wish printed across if someone tries to make a copy. And you can either turn that off, or the default is do not copy, or you can have internal use only, confidential, important, you know, copy ban, that sort of thing. Okay. So we'll just leave it as do not copy. You can also choose to put your own message across this here as well. And using the handy dandy keyboard, we will put our own message in here. So we'll make our own message B U S T E D, busted. Okay. And once we're done that, we close it up. Okay. Now we can also choose to put on the serial number. That's the serial number of the copier itself the account job ID of the job. We'll also put on the control number. So if there's say 10 copies of this document being made, each copy, uh, each set will have its own individual control number. Okay. And also we'll pick the date and time as well. Okay. So now we're all done that. So now we'll hit go. We make our copy. Now, when the copy comes out, it'll have one of the five camouflage patterns printed onto it. This is camouflage pattern number one. So you can still read what's on the copy, but there'll be a camouflage pattern. This will tell the user that this is something that should not be copied. But let's say I'm a bad employee, and I now go out to the photocopier, any photocopier, doesn't even have to be sharp, and I go and place this into the document feeder, late at night because I'm going to make an uh, illegal copy of this and now I go in here and I want to make a copy so I go okay I'm going to make a copy and looky you see what happens when I try to make a copy with hidden pattern print out comes a document that looks somewhat different than the one I put into the feeder what you can see here it's kind of hard to show up on this but what it says is do not copy it also says busted it has the date, it also has the serial number of the copier, the job log number, and it'll have the reference number as to which of the, which of the document sets this was. So this is number one, and if I know number one, uh, uh, set number one be, uh, be belonged to Bob, then Bob has some explaining to do, mm -hmm. okay? So that basically is how hidden pattern print works. This is a great way to be able to, to keep, uh, to keep uh, printed documents confidential and if they do get leaked out to be able to trace back who leaked the document. That's today's DYK. Thank you for listening. Bye now.